Nancy Pelosi says Maxine Waters should not apologize over Chauvin comments. And this is from our topic report titled Nancy Pelosi encourages protesters to follow Maxine Waters' call to, quote, get more confrontational, unquote. And the topic that we're looking at is Maxine Waters' Chauvin protest National Guard shooting. That's what we're really covering here. So this, uh, this is our top story that we're going to cover here is Nancy Pelosi defends Maxine Waters' comments calling on protesters to, quote, get more confrontational, unquote. This is from me, from the right here, from the blaze, <clears throat> the excerpt here. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Democrat California, refused to call to call, refused calls to censure Representative Maxine Waters, Democrat California, after she called on protesters to be more, quote, uh, confrontational, unquote, if former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin is not found guilty of murdering George Floyd. Let's just go a little bit deeper on this one. Pelosi was asked by reporters Monday if Waters should resign. Uh, stop that pop-up. Or, or, or Waters should apologize for her comments, and she is she defended her Democrat colleague. Maxine talked about confrontation in the manners of the civil rights movement. I have I don't, I mean, you're talking about a situation in which people have already been burning down buildings, setting businesses on fire, and she wants them to get even more escalating. I, I don't buy that. That's, that's just ghost language right there. I myself think we should take our lead from the George Floyd family. They've handled this with great dignity and no ambiguity or lack of misrepresentation by the other side. When pressed about whether water should apologize, she said no. I don't think she should apologize. Of course not. Remember, this is the woman that when Donald Trump set the FBI folks uh, to try to guard the uh, the U.S. courts in the U.S. court buildings, uh, so, you know, federal court buildings, uh, to, to guard them against people trying to burn them down. And they would later actually burn burn. Well, they would buy. They, I don't know if they successfully burned down federal buildings, but they certainly, <laughs> they certainly caused great havoc to the buildings. Uh, she referred to them as Donald Trump's Gestapo. So remember, this is the woman has no problem inciting people to violence. But then, nah, these factional folks uh, on the main, there's a lot of that, a lot of that going on. Other stories in 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 following the Maxine Water Chauvin protest National Guard shooting, we have from Free Beacon, which is also from the right here. We have, and I do have, uh, I did uh, kind of ended up picking a number of stories from the right here and just a couple from the left, so I do apologize for that. But that does happen. Sometimes I'm, I, I miss. Abhorrent Chauvin trial judge slams Maxine Waters' call for civil unrest. And uh, Hennepin County Judge Peter Cahill reproached Maxine Waters on Monday for interfering in the trial of Derek Chauvin and, and encouraging civil unrest in Minneapolis saying the congresswoman's rhetoric violated her oath of office and disrespected the rule of law. I, <clears throat> let's see what he said in full here. There he is. There he is. Let's see. Beast mode. I, I was just, I hate this. I hate this. I, I, I'm sorry. It's this whole beast mode. Like, oh, he just destroys her. Let's see what he says here. Let's just see. Beast mode. Okay. And then he's got a little, little clicker thing here. <clears throat> right sure why not I think we're past that point but okay totally beast mode abhorrent You notice they the, they have here beast mode, and he's like, "Listen, it's a part, but it doesn't. It doesn't. We're fine here." They've been told not to watch the news. That's enough for me. How is how is that beast mode? I don't. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! I'm sorry. You're all just the, the partisan factionalism is is causing everyone to to leave their if there is such a thing as common sense. And I'm not sure at this point. 
Everybody on all sides is uh, all sides are they're just chasing after the clicks and the dramas and the, and the grabby grabs. Let's get through the rest of these headlines real quick. CBS attacks trial judge for rebuking Maxine Waters' call to violence. And that's from Newsbusters. From legal insurrection, Representative Maxine Waters' threats may result in this whole trial being overturned on appeal. And that's, uh, well, there, there's that headline. And, uh, oh, oh, we got a little, little, bit of a little, dis, little bit of friction here, Rashida Tlaib. Waters' remarks, quote-unquote, shameful for non-white communities that rely on police. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's a valid point there, Rashida Tlaib, because she doesn't have to live in these in these areas where she might actually be inciting people, encouraging people to take violent action against their, their, their in, in essence, against their neighbors, against their family businesses, and all these other things. Maxine Waters asked for police protection during trip where she urged being confrontational, confrontational from Red State. Tucker Carlson says Maxine Waters guilty of greater incitement of violence than Donald Trump. Newsweek.com. Uh, I don't know if either one is necessarily directly. If you, if, you know, if you go by the letter of the law, I don't know if either one is really guilty of either of that. But certainly it's just it's the rhetoric that nobody really cares about to what that does to. When you're speaking to millions of human beings and you say such things, whether it's Donald Trump or, or Maxine Waters, you're speaking to people with an IQ, average IQ of 100, and many of them are already ticked off. So people are not very, dare I say it, mindful of the consequences of the words. But I'm not necessarily for rigid interpretation of what insight, what, what, Inter what, which we should interpret as incitement of violence because then you're empowering the police state. And finally, Kevin McCarthy announces resolution to censure Maxine Waters as he does nothing about Matt Gates. And that's from politicsusa.com. Uh, there you go. 